everyone welcome back to my channel food with Afiz this is Afizullah Masudi and today I'm going to show you how to create real-time comment system in Laravel and Vue.js so I don't want to waste time so let's just start guys well guys I have provided a link uh, which is a github repository and it is a starter project so click on the link and it will redirect you to this page and what we want to do is clone this repository so let's copy the link and let's open a command prompt window. Let me zoom in a little bit. Now in here first we want to navigate our uh, VAMP folder to cd dot dot slash dot dot slash VAMP 64 slash www and press enter. Now we want to say get clone and we want to paste our link. Well guys, uh, just ensure one thing that you have installed this uh, git package in your uh, system. And if you don't have uh, installed this git package, so go to the Google and search for git download. And click on this first link. And to download git, just click on this download 2.30.2 for Windows or any or other operating system that you are using. So after downloading git, now we can say press enter and it will clone the repository in our one folder so you have to wait for it to finish so guys after cloning the repository now we have to navigate to our project folder so cd block and we have to install our laravel version which is laravel 7 so for that we can say composer install and press enter it will take some time guys you have to wait for it to finish so guys our composer install has been successfully done now we have to install our dependencies and for that we can just say yarn or instead of yarn we can also use npm install but uh, because i have used yarn in this project so i will run yarn and press enter so after running yarn uh, i have to copy the env file so let's say copy and dot env dot example and we want to create a new file from it and we want to name it dot env and press enter yeah file has been copied now after copying the file let's go to phpMyAdmin and create a block database so let's go to localhost slash phpMyAdmin and press enter now in here let's say new database and let's name it block and for the collection let's say utf8 unicode cr create yeah now we have to connect our database to the project so let's go back to the cmd and in here what we can do is first let's say php artisan and or bef before that guys let's open our project in text editor so code paste dot and in here let's go to this dot env file and instead of laravel for our database name let's say block and save it close it now let's get back to our command prompt window and in here let first let's say php artisan config column cache to clear the config and cache of our project after that let's say php artisan migrate and after migration let's say php partition db seed so guys everything has been done we have a starter project in which we can now start our uh, coding our real-time common system so now if we go to the browser and say localhost slash block well it's not working yeah silly mistake i forgot to generate the key so let's get back to the command from window and in here let's say php artisan this one should be artisan key column generate and press enter and once again let's also run our php artisan config cache to clear the cache and config files so press enter now if i go back to the browser refresh yeah you can see we have two posts in the database and for the comments we have to log in and I also have created two uh, users. So let's first login as John 
and app.com. Password is password. And press enter. Yeah. Now you can see we have access to the comment section. So guys, this is the starter project. Now to start working on our real-time commenting system, first of all, we have to code the functionality for storing storing the comments into the database well before everything guys let's create uh, a model controller and migration for the comments so let's get back to our command prompt window and in here let's say php artisan make column model and let's name it comment and we also want to flag it as dash m for migration and c for controller and press enter so now guys after creating these files let's open them and write our code so let's get back to our text editor and first let's go to database migrations and open this comment migration and in here what we want to do is create three fields well first of all let's say table arrow integer we want to store uh, the user that is submitting the comment so user id or underscore id and after that i want to store the post id also and the last one is the comment itself and this one should be text now these two ids are coming from the fourian table so at the bottom let's say table arrow fourian and let's say user underscore id arrow references references id field arrow on which table users table and let's duplicate this one this one should be for posts and this one should be id and the fourian tier post underscore id now the next part is to code the relationship uh, for their models so let's go to app and at the bottom first let's write the code for user model so in here let's say public so guys you can copy this one let's copy it and paste it and instead of posts let's say comments and a user has many comments so this one should be comment model now let's open guys uh, our post model and in here let's also paste the code and this one should be comments because a single post has many comments so instead of post comment model let's say comment model and after this finally let's open our comment model and in here let's paste the code and the first one is let's say user because a comment belongs to a single user so instead of has many let's say belongs to belongs to a single user and let's copy this function from here and paste it again and this one is for post because uh, many comments can belong to a single post so post model so guys we are finished with the migration and also the models now let's run our migration so let's get back to our command prompt window and let's say php artisan migrate My press enter and let's also run our yarn run watch press enter yeah now let's get back to our text editor and first of all let's go to resources views and home blade and in here what we want to do is let's cut this div from here which is for creating the comment so let's cut it and in here let's say we want to create a vue.js component by the name of add slash comment and we also want to pass some ids first of all the user id so equals to double curly brackets and we want to get this from auth variable of laravel so auth user parenthesis arrow id after user id we have also post id so post id equals to double curly brackets and we have dollar sign post variable arrow id now the next part is to create this app comment component in our app.js file so let's go to 
resources js folder and app.js and let's duplicate this line of code so instead of example component let's say app comment and for the component also let's say add comment now guys let's create this app component uh, add comment component in our components folder so let's go to components and we can duplicate this example component so control shift s and let's rename it add comment and press enter well instead of this div i want to paste my previous div which i kept from the home blade let me indent it a little bit so first of all guys let's get our properties that we sent into this component which are the user id and post id so in here let's say props and our brackets and inside here let's say user id comma post id and let's put a comma now let's say data parenthesis curly brackets and return curly brackets and in here what i want to do is create a collection by the name of form data and inside here we are sending the comment itself and after the comment we are sending the user underscore id which we are getting from the this dot user id property and let's duplicate this one this one should be for post id post underscore id yeah that's fine now to check our code if it works what we can do is first let's bind this comment with the view object that we created which is this comment so in here what we can do is say v dash model and form data dot comment and at the bottom or before bottom let's also declare a, an event for this button so add collect let's say add comment or instead of add comment let's say comment store now let's create this method in our methods field so let's say comma methods curly brackets and paste the comment store method and to check our code let's say alert this dot user id and save it now if we go to the browser let's refresh yeah we didn't get any errors if i check the inspect element yeah we don't have any errors now let's try to submit this comment so let's say yeah this one is post to user id 2 and let's yeah we are getting the user id and if i say instead of user id let's say post id now if i refresh this one should be two yeah and this one should be one so that's working so that's good now the next part is guys to write the code to store our comment using ajax request so let's get back to the text editor and instead of this alert what i want to do is let's say axios dot post and for the endpoint let's say comment slash store and i also want to pass the data so this dot form data and let's say dot then response that is coming from the function should equal to curly brackets and let's say console.log and response dot data and after that we also want to show our error messages so dot catch errors should equal to curly brackets and we want to show them in our console log so console dot log error now the next part is guys to create this endpoint in our routes file so let's go to routes with the php and at the bottom let's say route column column post and slash comment slash store and let's say comma this should go to comment controller add store method now let's create the store method in our comment controller so let's go to app HTTP controllers and comment controller. First of all, let's use our app uh, comment model. So use app backslash comment model. And 
and inside uh, our common controller let's create a function public function store and we have request coming from the form so we need our request to give us and after that let's say dollar sign common should equal to new comment and after that let's say comment arrow insert and create our array we want to store the comment itself which is should equal to dollar sign request arrow comment comma then we have the user underscore id field so this should be equal to request arrow user underscore id comma and the last one is post underscore id this should equal to dollar sign request arrow post underscore id and terminate our code now finally we can say return response arrow json and we want to return the comment itself so let's come in this one and at the top let's say request arrow all because i want to show you if we are getting all the fields that we need from this request so let's get back to text uh, or not text editor browser let's refresh and in here let's say hello there and submit comment then let's go to this network field and let's go to this store we are getting nothing let's see what is the problem well guys we are saying request all but we forgot to say return i think we inserted the comment into our database so let's check our php my admin so let's go to this blog and comment yeah you can see we have uh, stored the comment into our database so now let's check it if it works so let's say hello and submit comment now you can see we are getting the comment but if i check the database we didn't save it because we are only returning request all so now if i comment this one and uncomment this one and get back to the browser now let's refresh and let's say new comment added and submit comment we are getting the comment in here and if i check the database yeah you can see user id 2 post id 2 and if i comment on this one let's say new comment and submit comment this one should be post id 1 so let's refresh the table you can see the post id is 1 well guys before closing this video one thing that is left and i want to show you is that if we go back to the project you can see we are writing the comment and when we submit it doesn't empty the text area so to empty the text area let's get back to our code editor and let's go to this add comment component and after this console.log let's say this dot form data dot comment should equal to an empty string and now if i go back refresh and let's say new comment again and submit the comment yeah you can see it emptied uh, the text area after uh, storing the comment so guys this was how to store the comments using api ajax request well i think this is enough for this video guys and in our next video i will show you how to fetch the comments from the database using vue.js and api ajax requests and after that i will show you how you can create the real-time uh, system without using any packages and guys for the source code you can get the link from the description and uh, find the code in github.com well guys don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video and share it with your friends. So thanks for watching and see you guys in the next video.